Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Getting to be late in the day, and I made the rounds on all my systems, and I found a Victron charge controller offline for the first time ever. So, I have to quickly resolve that. I'll see if I can recreate what I just discovered on my, uh, what I call my main house system. And I've showed you guys this system before, 600 amp hours, lithium iron phosphate there, the chins, got the reliable 3000 watt. This is a 12 volt system. Those two are tied in parallel for 600 amp hours. Uh, a little rattled here. What did I discover? So it's early afternoon, two-ish in the afternoon, and I just looked at my log for the first time today. And this, this one right here that just says chins is my top string of 500 watts of solar and my bottom string, lower string, another 500 watts. And this one had zero watt hours registered for the day. Absolutely zero. As you can see, it still shows zero. And there is zero watts coming in off those panels. And the first thing that I did is I, of course, ran out there and looked at the panels, the panel array real quick. Everything looked good. I was thinking, geez, did a tree fall down or something out there? But anyway, uh, just on quick visual inspection, it looked good. But yeah, this top string was registering absolutely uh, zero watts. What? And there it goes again. What in the world? Okay, wait. <laughs> I did see zero underneath that while it was getting connected. So what I did <clears throat> to first try and decide what's going on is I came in here, went to the quick disconnect. This is the, for the top string there. I shut that off. I disconnected this right here, this breaker, uh, which comes off of that charge controller there. I've got two of these. These are tied into a network. Okay. So then I, I reversed the steps. I just thought, well, I'll just kind of shut, shut it down, you know, and then what I did is I came back here. I flipped this breaker back on and then I flipped the array back on and it kicked back on and it, it took it a second. At first it was showing zero Watts again. And I thought, wow, I really got a problem. And now it's actually doing okay. I mean, it's not real sunny out there at the moment. And if I go to the history, now when I did turn it off, it changed. Let's see if I can show you this. It changed. This was the, the graph right here, this one. And it had zero, absolutely zero. It says yesterday now. But when I turned it off and then back on, went to a new day so it's calling this today but this is this was today that says yesterday and there was nothing that happened and I looked down there to see and I could see you know 13.62 volt was the max that it did catch that day but as you can see zero watt hours PV max I guess at one point it did show three watts and of course the other one uh, if I go to the other one, the lower string, <clears throat> yeah, and then I go to the history. I mean, it's been doing fine. I mean, it's now showing 14 volts on the battery, getting, you know, pretty full battery pack, 650 watt hours. So, yeah, the bottom string was looking good. But that top string had disconnected somehow. I mean, and I think it was the charge controller. So I'm not sure what happened. I haven't had any kind of weird weather. Everything's been pretty normal. But I hadn't even looked at that today. I usually take a look at all the systems earlier in the day. But this one has never one time uh, shown so much as a blip on the radar. And right now it's only been, you know, just a few minutes since I... I reset this uh, controller here and it's doing fine now 300 and some watts coming in 
the voltage looks good, 62, 63 volts coming in off the array. Everything looks pretty good now. So yeah, I really don't know what happened, but uh, nothing had happened on that entire 500 watt string all day long. And now just in the few minutes that I have reset this, you know, I can see that I am up to 20 watt hours. Everything's looking pretty good. And you know, this battery was, as you can see, I mean, in the 90th percentile. So I wasn't low on power, but it should have been in float. And that's what caught my eye. And then I saw zero coming in. So that was a first for me. I've never had uh, one of the Victron charge controllers go offline like that. I've been running these for a couple of years, tied up like this in a network. Uh, that's the first time I've ever had a single little blip. But it looks like it was pretty easy to resolve. But what caused it, I have no clue. So yeah, you know, I disconnected well, first I disconnected the, the array, then I shut off the battery connection to the charge controller, and then I reversed it, turned that back on first to energize it, and it did, and then I kicked the panels back on, and it came right back. So interesting. And I'll just give it one more final peek. Yeah, there we can see 320 some watts coming in. Looking pretty good. But what caused it to trip? I have no idea. Weather's been fine. And just take a quick look. There's the top string. There's the bottom string. Uh, they're reading pretty close in battery voltage. Bottom string's reading 14 volts. Uh, that one's pretty close to 14 volts. About the equal amount of power coming in off of 500 watt strings, 217. Of course, fast moving clouds at the moment, bouncing around, but looking pretty good. And of course, the bottom string put in 670 watt hours today. And this one just on the reset, only 30 watt hours today. And that's it. So yeah, anyway, that's the first time I've had to reset one, but it looks like it took. So I'll keep a close eye on it for the rest of the day, for the rest of the charging day, and then I will make sure and take a peek at it earlier in the day tomorrow. But yeah, the day was just getting away from me and I finally just made the rounds back here and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so it goes, guys. Sometimes those things happen and for no rhyme or reason. If, if disconnecting that via the cutoff switch and the breaker, if that wouldn't have resolved it real quick, I would have gone out there and checked the lines all the way from this solar panel array into the house here to see if I had a break in the line somewhere out there. But uh, thankfully, I don't have to go out there and deal with that. Yeah, looking pretty good. Now they're both reading exactly 140 some watts coming in, 154, 157. So yeah, identical. All right. <laughs> Always a moment of excitement. I didn't feel like jumping into action today. So yeah, it's nice having those uh, Victron apps to, to peek at and see what's going on at a moment's uh, notice. So all's good at, at the moment. I'll keep an eye on it though. All right. Aloha. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, that was kind of strange.